Hey, what's up? This is Auburn, and you're at Popularity. Can you talk a bit about the artistic growth that you went through during the last year? Um, well, over the past year, um, I'd say that I've grown a lot music-wise and writing-wise and um, experience-wise. I've been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of writing, a lot of radio, a lot of, I don't know, it's a lot different from where I was last year. Last year, I was, you know, just pretty much waiting for my turn, I guess. <laughs> So a lot has happened, and I guess it shaped me into a better artist. Of everyone that you've been working on your album with, who has taught you the most valuable lesson, and what was it? I only, I only work with one person as far as my album goes. Uh, JR is, is my producer for the entire album. And I, I, I don't really know how to answer that question. I haven't really learned much from anyone as far as working on the album. What I've learned from meeting different people is just how to shape my writing and what I really like to write about over just trying to find the right, you know, the right thing that's in style or the right subject to talk about just to make people dance. I actually care more about just being more real. What were some of the expectations that you set up going into it initially? I just want people to get to know me better as an artist, I guess. Because I, okay, it's louder in here than it was outside. Sorry. One second. Okay. Because I do a lot of my own writing and because the melody, literally everything that I do is kind of on a personal level when I start to write. I just want people to recognize that as in listening to the music and not first off judging me by whatever genre I'm placed into mm -hmm. and just hearing music for being music, you know what I mean? So I just want people to get a better idea of who I am as an artist and I want them to hopefully relate to most of the songs on the album. How important is it for you to have people realize that you're a writer as well? It's very important because that's actually what I was first doing. You know, I didn't like plan on being a singer. I just loved writing. I got into writing and that's how I even started loving singing so much. So it's very important for me to at least, it's very important to me that people at least know that I am a writer overall. And, you know, I don't know. <laughs> What can we expect from the album? You can expect different. Um, my sound is very different. It's very uh, all over the place, really, because I listen to every style of music other than heavy metal. So that inspires my writing a lot. Sorry. That inspires my writing, and because of that, uh, my sound is really different. Like, at one point, you can hear pop, and next you can hear hip hop, and next you can hear just raw acoustic or R&B. You know, it's just kind of all over the place. So you can expect all versions on the album. What has been the biggest challenge that you didn't foresee for this album, but have had to work around? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing really. There's no, there's, there's no challenge as far as something I didn't expect. Everything's been pretty much working out okay. Ideas for the album and all that. The one thing that's different is just my recording time. I don't have a lot of time to record as much as I did before because I'm, I'm gone all the time. But, you know, that's a good thing. <laughs> What is it about music that drives your passion? Just the fact that it's music. I think people don't get that music is like art when you try to sound like someone else or when you try to make a sound that's just suitable for other people, not yourself. I don't think it's art anymore. But when you have your own sound and when you're really just making music out of love for music, when you write a song and you get that feeling like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, <laughs> um, that's what keeps me going because I love music. And I feel blessed to even be able to write my music or sing the song, let alone write it. So. What emotion do you wish to evoke most from your fans when they hear your music? I want people to feel whatever it is that they feel when they hear the music. I don't, I want whatever comes to come. Like, some music are specifically for evoking certain emotions, and other songs are just to, you know, get somebody in the, in the groove or get them to dance, you know. So whatever someone feels is, like, fine with me. As long as they feel something instead of nothing at all, I'm good. What would you say are some of the most significant musical moments in your life that have influenced your journey as an artist? Um, 
Well, I tell you just the fact that I'm I'm here is one thing that it was an action artist. I I would never expect that I would be signed. I would never expect that I would be um, on tour with Jason now. I don't ever expect expect any of this actually. Um so I just feel blessed to be here. Overall, like everything is what's shaping me as an artist. I'm still overwhelmed a little bit. Do you believe that music can create real change in the world? I believe that music can inspire people. I believe that music can do a lot, but as far as changing the world, I believe that people would have to do the first steps towards changing the world. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the readers of popularity? Yes, I would like to say hi. I'd like to say thank you um, for the support and everything. Hopefully this interview you know, didn't bore you and you have a better idea of who I am as an artist. <laughs>